As anglers, fish care should be our main priority. And there's a few things that we can all do to make sure that the fish goes back into the water in tip top condition. First things first, make sure everything is prepped on the bank. You want plenty of cold water. Make sure your carp care is to hand. You've got your scales, you've got your camera kit. You don't wanna be rushing around once the fish is on the bank. Make sure you're prepared. When possible, always remove the hook from the fish in the water. I honestly believe that the majority of mouth damage occurs when we transfer the fish from the water to the mat and the hook is still in the fish. By removing the hook, we're also removing the rod from the situation, which means we can have two hands on the sling when bringing the fish from the water to the mat. We can now break the net down and transfer both fish and the net into the retainer. Now simply roll the retainer down and make sure all the fins are tight against the fish's body before removing the fish from the water. If you're on your own, make sure you've got a clear path from the water to the mat. You don't want any rods in the way, buckets in the way, shoes in your way. Make sure you've got a clear path. If you feel like you're gonna struggle, call in reinforcements, ask your neighbor next door, or if in doubt, ring the bailiff or the fishery staff, and I'm sure they'll be on hand to help. Make sure your waiting mat has plenty of water on it, especially on a warm, sunny day. We can now remove the net from the situation, but make sure you do this from head to tail, so you are with the scales rather than against the scales. Remember to keep the fish wet at all times and remove any watches or jewelry that could damage the fish when you eventually come to pick it up for photographs. Now, when it comes to weighing the fish, make sure everything is zeroed in, and if you need any additional help, use a T-bar or a weight crook. Now it's time to get the mega trophy shots, but constantly monitor the fish and apply water when needed. Now you've got your shots, it's now time to do a really important thing and that is check the entire fish for any sores, any lesions, or any hook damage that has potentially happened during the fight. Firstly, dab the wound down with a dry towel, then apply some propolis and then seal the wound with a little bit of water. Once you're all done, now it's time to get the fish safely back to the water. So back in the retainer, make sure it's fully zipped up, checking the fins once again before making that walk back from the mat to the lake. Now the fish is safely back in the water. It's had a long ordeal, being hooked, being on the bank. Make sure that fish is ready to go of its own accord. 